Hey everyone, welcome back. Remember last week we planted some seeds in this homemade garden greenhouse? Well, the seeds are up. So, keeping with the garden theme for this week, I figured it was time to create some new raised beds for the garden. So, I started off by just drawing some simple plans using my graph paper to count out the feet with the little boxes that are there. I came up with three different plans that we could execute in our garden. Now that the plan had been chosen, we went to the Home Depot, 6 a.m. for the supplies. We got 12 foot sections of lumber so that we could cut them down to three foot sections and make four three by three boxes, two two by eight boxes. Time to dismantle the previous garden beds. They're 10 years old now and the earth is reclaiming them. Such a beautiful day, we figured we'd also start a fire. We had to remove an old Wygela bush that I had in the corner there to make room for the new garden beds. So I'm going to try to force some of the spring shoots and here we've got a little help from family. We've got more man and woman power on board. So this shouldn't take us too much longer now with all this extra help. The previous garden beds that we just dismantled had pretty good soil in it still. So I'm just going to use that soil to level out the space there and get the ground prepared for the new beds. first 12 foot section coming in here to cut down into four three foot sections we are going to make four three by three boxes two tiered the reason we had to rip and flip them is because my miter saw can only handle about six inches at a time so we cut one side flipped it over and cut the other The next segment you'll see us screwing everything together, we use these three and a half inch decking screws. And we just screwed them into the sides. And I will explain to you how I did that coming up. Yeah. So real quick, a small scale representation of the actual garden beds that we built. I just wanted to show you how I fastened the um, the tops and the bottoms of the board of the boards onto the sides. So the longer piece here, pretend this is the eight foot section and then these are the two foot sections. The two foot sections I butted up to the end of the eight foot sections and then I took our decking screws and I fixed it from the um, front of the of the box straight through into the sides so that when the screws are anchored in they're long ways I did two of them one on top of the other and that way over time when the dirt from the garden bed is on the inside when the dirt 
you know, puts pressure on the sides, this will add extra support so that it won't bow the sides out over time because these will be anchoring the sides a little bit more. If I were to actually put the two foot section on the inside of the um, eight foot section, so pretend this is the eight foot section, two foot section, and then pretend there's another eight foot section here. And then of course there's the, you know, the, the bottom of the box as well. If I were to anchor it this way, then as the dirt fills up in here over time, it can put pressure on these walls and pull the screws out. So following Gardener Scott's recipe for success in making these garden beds, he suggests you screw them in that way. And that is what we did. Here we're cutting four by four by eights into smaller segments, like one foot sections to put into the corners of each of the garden beds to create more support. Here is the last box that we built, the two by eight, and it is going into the garden. Coming together as a family, working outside, building a garden structure, hanging out by the bonfire, makes for a really good Saturday. This was so much fun. Thanks to my family and friends and my son and my cousins and my dog Lucky and my husband for helping us get this garden together. And hopefully we can plant some flowers and some herbs and some vegetables and have a good successful year. Yay. Now we just have to fill these garden beds. I will have soil delivered probably from our local um, garden center. Maybe some mushroom compost, maybe some topsoil, maybe a combination of both, but we will have to still fill these beds. Now, I wanted to give a little explanation as to why I used the two tier. The bottom tier of the three by three boxes, that is pressure treated lumber and it will be in contact with the bare earth. The top tier is not pressure treated, it is fur, and that is where the roots to all the vegetables will go. Um, that way it won't be in contact with any of the pressure treated wood. I followed the Gardener Scott method of building raised beds. Please go on and check out his video, which I will post in my description box, as well as I will tag it in this video so that you can just click on it. Um, his method is really super easy and that is basically what I adopted my plans from. It's pretty much like so simple, a little bit of help to carry the boxes is really all you need and some simple tools and you can build yourself a really nice little setup, raised bed setup. So I hope you enjoyed this video and um, maybe I inspired you to go out and build a little raised bed to start some vegetables or some flowers. My garden will have both the two by eights in the center. My intention for them is to have a clipping garden so I can cut some fresh flowers and make bouquets throughout the summer. And thanks as always everyone for joining along with me on this journey. This weekend was all about restructuring the garden. No furniture flipping for this weekend. This was definitely the priority. So thanks again for joining me and I will see you next time.